going everybody? So I'm down here in uh, Westerly, Rhode Island, out on the Napa Tree Point uh, conservation area again. It's about 15, 20 minutes before sunset. It's a great evening. It's about uh, 40 degrees outside. Um, I decided to come down here to give it another shot. I've already came out, got the camera set up. Um, I found one composition that I'm gonna try to get right now. So uh, let's go ahead and talk through it real quick. Okay, so what I'm trying to do with this composition, if you can see right here in front of the camera, the reflection on the black sand is giving a mirror-like reflection of the sky above us. And then you can see the ocean, the sun setting out in the distance, and the great clouds we have in the sky. So it's not going to have much in the foreground. I don't have a lot of foreground interest. What I'm trying to do is utilize the glare that you can see right there, or the reflection, not the glare, the reflection of the sky as my foreground interest. Just a simple square composition. Nothing fancy. So right now I'm sitting, I've got the camera. I wanted to try to get a little bit slower shutter speed without putting any filters on. So I went to F16, ISO 100. I'm all the way wide at 16 millimeters and I'm getting about a 1 15th of a second. I wish I'd get about a half a second exposure time. That way I could at least still keep some of the action in the water but smooth it out just a little bit. So I'm gonna take this composition get this out of the bag and I'm gonna walk down the beach and see if I can't find anything to put in the foreground to get to give some interest into the foreground so let's go ahead and take this image I can't believe how beautiful it is out here tonight just gorgeous I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up, climb on the edge of this dune, and try to get the entire beach, ocean, and sky in a really large vista. So I'm going to climb up these dunes right here, try to find a high point that I can get to, try to get all, because it looks like I might get some great color in the sky tonight. I'm not sure. But it looks promising because it's looking great right now. In fact, I need to hurry up, get in position, so I don't lose any of this. I'm going to go right up here on top of these dunes right here. Ooh, it's a little bit chilly out here, though. Got one of my gloves off so I can handle things a little bit easier. My hands get a little bit chilly. Oh, yeah, I think this will be good. Yeah, I think this will be a good image right here. Use the, the beach as a leading line, the ocean. Kind of use the entire sky as a large part of this picture. I think that might turn out. All right, so I'm gonna get my stuff set up. I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I made it up on this dune. Got the camera set up. Got, got my composition already lined up. Again, it's not too, uh, too difficult. Not too extravagant. All I've done is squared it off. This leading line of the ocean kind of wrapping around, if you can see it over there, that's going to be the leading line on the left-hand side of the frame. The contrast between sand, I don't know if you can see it, the contrast between sand and the reeds on the right is going to be right down the middle of the frame. All of this beach line and weeds lead you all the way around to where the sun's setting right out on the tip of this whole point. So that's kind of like the leading line leading you into where that sun sets at. I'm at F11 ISO 100 and I'm getting about one eighth of a second for my shutter speed. I've got it on a two second timer, everything's off VR, it's on manual focus, everything already focused where I needed it to. It's nice and sharp. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this image out of the way because I see something else I might be able to use down there below me um, as some foreground interest before I lose any of this light in the sun. All 
Oh yeah, I think that's gonna look great. I think you're gonna really like that picture. Let's go ahead, move down. Right down there, I see a, a drift piece of driftwood right there on the beach, right over there where I'm pointing. So I'm gonna try to use that as some foreground interest because it looks like it's actually pointing directly towards the setting sun. So that might actually uh, set up really nice. So let's go ahead and grab this stuff, make our way down. All right, so we're making our way down. Just pretty much picked up the camera. Yeah, I grabbed everything, gonna move right down here. I don't wanna lose any of this light. You can see what I'm going after is this piece of driftwood right here laying on the beach. I'm going to use that as some foreground interest and hopefully get a good angle that's pleasing towards pointing directly at the sun. Yeah, I think that might work. All right, give me a second so I can get things set up. Okay, I've got the camera set up. Composition looks great. You can see now the sun's just cracked down in that clouds and it's popping out. It's giving this just bright, I mean, bright, intense orange off into the sky right by it. It's glowing. It's so nice. Um, so I've got this piece of driftwood and it's pointing, I mean, at a diagonal, pointing directly at that setting sun. I've bumped it up to, uh, I've shut it down to F16. I've got about a quarter of a second shutter speed. Um, so it's looking really good as I take these images. Yeah, that looks really nice. I think it's going to look really good. Okay, so now I've got this one done. I don't think I really need to do much more. Can't pick another angle. The only thing about this composition that could be better, obviously, it's been an active beach today, so this piece of driftwood, I'm sure people have came up to it, walked up to it, sat on it, and watched the ocean, and that's fine. I think that's the only thing that would have made this composition better. Had I gotten here before any of the sand had been, uh, let's say, contaminated by anybody's uh, footprints and walking through it and so on and so forth, it would have just made the image a little bit cleaner. But it is what it is. I mean, we're going to come out here, people are out here on the beach enjoying the sunset, enjoying the day. So can't ask for much more than what we got tonight I don't think so I'm just gonna walk a few more minutes I don't have much daylight left at all or if any at all you can see the Sun setting behind me so I'm gonna see if I can find maybe one two more compositions and then we're gonna call it a night all right I'll be back in a little bit closer to the ocean as it's coming in then I can't really tell. I think tides going out um, so it's just really slow and calm right now just bringing in these nice slow waves dragging up to the tripod where I've got set on some pretty sturdy hard sand and then it just kind of drags back down and it's leaving that great reflection on this dark sand of the sky above so it's kind of like the first image i took tonight i'm going to use the reflection and just all the soft pastel colors that i'm getting um, with the sunset and it's already hit the horizon so i'm not sure if it's going to have any after effects um, with the sun coming up and underneath these clouds or not um, but it just looks amazing tonight. I, I, I couldn't have asked for a better night to come out here and do this. So right now, um, because I wanted to show the, slow the shutter speed down a little bit without any filters. I chose not to use any filters tonight because I was going to be on the move moving around so much. Um, so I'm at f16. It still gives me a really good sharp image, but allows me to get about a one, and, one, and a, or a one half second shutter speed time. And that's given just enough shutter speed to slow that movement of the water down but not completely take all the character away from it because that's what I'm trying to do right now. So again, I've got it on a two second delay, half a second shutter speed F16 ISO 100. I'm going to wait for the perfect time as these waves come in and just start to drag back into the ocean, hit this and then just let it go. Yeah, I think that looks really good. I'm gonna to try to do a couple of more images just to try to get the timing correct on these waves as they come in and drag back. It's all about trial and error with this type, type of photography. You just gotta gotta see it and then go with it because a lot of times as the waves come in, they create all these nice lines that'll lead you through the image out into your uh, subject, which tonight is still the night sky. So let's see how that one looked. Yeah, this one looks really good. As the wave came in, it's got this nice white foam of a line leading all the way through the image out into the distance. 
Yeah, I think that's gonna be a really good one. All right, so I don't know if there's gonna be too much more I can do out here. I've lost all the light. I've got the, my Panasonic G85 up to ISO 800 right now just so I can try to get some video still. Um, it doesn't look so bad. I, don't, I can't tell if I'm in focus. I'll have to see once I get it in uh, Premiere Pro. So I know this, I think this is about the fourth video I've done. Uh, I'm getting the hang of it, I think. Um, it's just trying to get out here, get into a groove focusing on getting the images that I want and then also trying to give a decent product to you on video. Uh, it's definitely a little bit more difficult than I had thought it was going to be, but I don't think it's something that I won't be able to get the hang of and start providing you with better content, um, more information. I hope that I'm giving you what I do on the camera good enough. Um, some of the things that I can say about that is if you're just getting into photography, I mean, honestly, I've only been doing photography for about two years. I mean, I've had cameras throughout my life. I'm 44 years old right now. I've had cameras throughout my life, so I'm not completely new to it, but I'm really only two years old into the amount of knowledge that I have right now. And when I first picked up my first DSLR, which was a Pentax K50, I shot on the, the program modes, you know, scenery, portraits, sports, or whatever, for about the first three or four months. And then I switched and started to move in towards more of the program modes like aperture priority. I learned a little bit more shutter priority if I was trying to freeze motion and I, and I was shooting sports. I knew that I had to have a certain shutter speed. And for aperture priority, I knew that I, if I wanted a certain depth of field, I so I started to learn and started to figure it out. So I, th I guess the, the biggest thing that I could suggest to you is learn your camera, whatever camera you have, learn it as much as you can and as quickly as you can. And try to get, my goal, and should be your goal as well, is to get on manual as quick as possible. I can't tell you how much my photography changed when I figured out how, to, how my camera functioned. It's where I could switch it on manual and can completely control this great piece of machinery and tell it to do what I want it to do. It's just, it's just completely transformed how my pictures have turned out. I mean, now I've just got the bug and I want to keep this going. So hopefully I can continue to slow things down in the future and teach you more about actually taking photography. I try to talk about some of the stuff now, but I'm going to really try to focus on it in the future. So if you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you coming by taking the time to watch this and if you, like again if you've made it this far um, I appreciate it if you like the content please hit the like button below subscribe if you haven't done so already I'll try to get out here as often as possible but I do have a full-time job um, I do take uh, I'm trying to finish my uh, bachelor's degree in college right now so I'm taking three classes a night or three classes a week at night so I don't get a lot of chances to get out here so I'm going to try to keep this going as much as I can when I have the time to do it. So again, I appreciate everybody that has stopped by and watched these videos. And stay tuned for more. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.